Certainly the rapid adoption of the MEFS e-access services, uh, both in North America but more recently with a few operators being certified in the European region, shows uh, it's a true statement of the MEFS business value in terms of their standard offerings. More broadly, I'd probably cite the Etsy's NFE specifications that were published late last year. Uh, the first step really in terms of making let's call it the SDN plus NFE excitement, uh, a more practical reality for the carrier market. Well, first I'd have to say we, we launched Application Visibility Services Solution last year. And essentially what that does is it takes advantage of equipment manufacturers that have taken the deep packet inspection functionality and embedded that in their equipment, whether it be the customer edge or the provider edge. So no longer do you need a DPI in a probe or a separate hardware, uh, piece of hardware on the network. So we leverage that uh, DPI data from those devices and then we're able to provide uh, reporting for the service provider to give to their customers on application visibility, application performance, uh, even go to application SLAs which they can then add to their VPN services as well as bundle with their cloud offerings and better monetize their network assets. I think second I would mention that one thing all our customers tell us the market says is they need more standards. Standards make things more cost effective, standards mean faster time to revenue. So therefore we launched our support for Metro Ethernet Forum's performance monitoring best practices. So that's specifically specifications 35 and 36. So we launched that at the end of last year. Uh, we now support those specs uh, in our uh, SLA reporting, customer reporting and service assurance platform so that the operators internal stakeholders, folks like engineering, operations, IT, as well as the end customer can take full advantage of the Metro Ethernet Forum's defined performance management best practices. Well, I think SDN is a mandatory response for that kind of question, but uh, more practically speaking, we'll start to see uh, network functions virtualization, NFE, uh, become a, a reality in carriers, um, certainly within the next year. Uh, but to go a little bit beyond that, I think we'll see a continued uh, shrinkage of the gap between IT data center and the network. And as part of that, we'll see a, a greater alignment between the application and the end user. So what that means in terms of uh, significance for a carrier's business services customers is that they're going to be more and more focused on, on what the application is doing, the performance of the application, and ensuring that the behavior of that application is deterministic, uh, even guaranteed. And that will be the expectation of, of business services customers from both very large enterprises to mid-market and perhaps starting to bleed into the small-medium business as well. Well, InfoVista is incredibly excited to be a part of Metro Ethernet Forum's Gen 14 this year, their first year. And more so, I think it's, it's clear, if you look at the numbers, carrier Ethernet services are dominating the service revenues worldwide for carriers. Uh, what we want to do is, is take that uh, awareness and take that value all the way to the enterprise customer that's buying those services. And therefore, I'm very excited to showcase the combination of MEF's performance monitoring best practices with our sophisticated self-service dashboarding to truly deliver the business value of Ethernet services to the carrier's business services customers as well as their wholesale customers. So look forward to seeing you there.